Hello fellow gamers, I hear that you do not like the standard introduction that many of us commentators make according to Mr. Bruma. Well, I will try and improve myself for you. So today a mad cow gamer brings you a little accented commentary. Today we'll be using a very weird gun. This gun is called a G11 as you can see. I am using a something called a variable scope in this game and this game consists of me dying a lot. But as I was saying, this gun is a very very weird gun and I like this weird gun. Now, the reason why this weird gun is because indeed as you can see right now, it is loading from the front and it loads in a strip. When I first saw this gun, I uh, imagined myself uh, thinking to myself uh, and uh, looking at myself, uh, thinking what the hell is this gun shoots? Does it shoot the pebbles? And why does it have to wind in a clock thingy towards its handle? Well, I took a liberty of doing a little bit of research about how exactly this gun works. Now, a lot of people have a misconception that this gun is truly, a truly an assault rifle. What they do not know about this gun is that this gun is purely experimental weapon since 1968. There is no, probably, uh, from what I know, there is no uh, operational uh, version of this weapon released to the military use. Now, as I said before, uh, this gun's uh, beautiful uh, bur uh, barrel loading technique is very, very simple. Those of you who know what P90 is, it is the same concept. When the bullet needs to be cycled into the chamber of the gun, it simply drops down into the chamber from the top. The very unique piece of this gun, when you just reload it and you want to cock it, which is probably one of the weirdest things you need to do in this gun, you have to wind this gun as if it was a clock. To make a little comparison to you guys who do not know what I'm talking about, for you who played some medieval games, you would know that a lot of medieval pistols used a flintlock or something called clock lock type of reloading device. What would you do? You would find a little uh, stone uh, rock on the side of the gun and when you pull the trigger it would create a spark igniting the black powder in your chamber thus forcing it out outside of the actual barrel and killing your target. This gun works the same exact way except there is no spark. What this gun does, it actually cycles around once you cut the little quote unquote uh, time chamber in and then you fire at will. Now this gun fires in 3 shot bursts and by far this is the fastest the 3 shot burst I know uh, for any gun to that matter. But I'm pretty sure that this gun can fire full automatic and single shots as well. Uh, personally, this gun is a very, very, very fun gun to use when you use it properly. This gun is very, very accurate when firing from the hip, and when you can use variables, when you can use it literally like a sniper. Now, I had very, very many matches with this gun, and I must say that I am very satisfied with how it performs on medium to long range maps. However, when you play on something short, something small like a nuke town or even, even a ray, in those areas around the building, this gun does not perform as well. Maybe it is because of the variable zoom or maybe because this gun is just poorly designed and that's why it is an experimental stage. Now, I really really do not like one thing about this gun. The, the recoil is fine, it's the loading that really pisses me off. It takes a very long time to reload, especially when you run out of the complete rounds in the magazine or what I like to call the strip that is the barrel on top that sits on top of the barrel right now what i do not really understand is how could they put this game uh this game this rifle into the game when there is no practical usage of this rifle within the real world i don't even know how the real life is gonna exist i once again i might be extremely wrong on what i am saying but from the research that i have done in this past two minutes this does seem to be true this is the only rifle within the game that features the variable zoom option and this is a very very clean rifle to use especially with this kind of a setup. As you can see I do not use a, a scavenger 
because this has a lot of rounds within its chamber. Maybe I do in this particular gameplay commentary, but after that, I probably stop using the scavenger perk for this particular gun. One, because this gun has extremely large amount of bullets, and another reason is because this gun is indeed a very powerful gun to use. It's a very accurate gun to use. Now, we are obviously playing on a quite a, a uh, a nicely balanced map it's a closed quarter map for most part but it does have its few high points like this one right here however i must say that this particular point is a very dangerous point to hold not only because this is a a very active area of the map but because people really do love throwing grenades into the area c4s and other ridiculous devices i would like to um, how should I say this in English? I would like to pose a little bit of my own dislike with uh, the game at this point of my development. One, people are very inconsiderate when throwing grenades. Now, considering this is a game and there is no friendly fire on in normal core modes, I must say that there, if it was in the real life, I would definitely would not throw grenades into the air randomly. Well, because there is a good possibility I would hold an unmarked unit in the vicinity of my own and two is just a waste of ammunition and military and spending money spotted. and as you know military spends a lot of money so you do not really want to waste your grenades i did, did try to play Counter this game in hardcore by. mode as mr brumach earlier suggested and i was satisfied with some results of the gameplay however there is a one big problem with hard mode only mr brumach loves editing and that's why his Hardcore games are extremely fun. There is extreme uh, skill involved in his gameplays, especially when he shows how this gameplays go through in his head, quote unquote, and on the screen. But for people who want to just show a pure gameplay commentary all in one go, hardcore can be quite a boring. Uh, oh my god, that was a very embarrassing. That's quite a boring a place uh, to have a commentary on. So I decided to, for certain guns from now on, I will be doing in core mode and other guns will be done in hardcore mode. I would like to say that this is the last of few of our assault rifles in the category. I hope you enjoyed this commentary, we went 22 to 9, a very nice score of this gun. I hope you enjoyed this commentary of a Russian type of med cow and I hope to see you later. Thank you and peace out.